The flat file importer can be used when importing employee data from any other payroll software. You can access the employee import either through the employee tab or through the payroll settings here. It's really easy to use. There are only three stages to the flat file import, uploading, matching and reviewing. So we'll take a look at the first stage, uploading now. Simply select the flat file option from the drop down menu and select your file. Today I'm going to select yes to the question, does the selected row contain column headers? So now we've reached the second stage, which is the matching stage. This is where you can map the header columns. The headings on the left hand side are the column headings of the import file. Underneath are the values that are associated with it. The headings on the right are the key pay headings and this is what we're going to map the import to match. So looking at column B, the heading of the column in the import is title. This actually matches the heading of the column in key pay. But if I needed to change it to match it, I can do so just by selecting an option from the drop down menu here. Now, as I'm not making any changes, I can press the ignore this column button here. Or if none of these options are marked, the system will simply ignore this column itself. Something to note, the system will actually learn from previous imports and remember these mappings, making suggestions for the next user by pre-mapping certain fields. Once you've matched your columns or ignored them, you can head to the review stage. So now we've reached the final stage, which is the review stage, and here you can edit any information as well as add extra information to empty columns. You're able to get a quick view of any errors or changes that have been made by clicking on the only show rows with problems and or the show modifications toggles. Any fields with errors are highlighted in red so you can easily see which ones they are. If you're unsure, you can hover over the field and you'll be able to see an explanation of what the error is. As you can see, I've missed the hours work per day here, so I can quickly add that now. As you can see, I've also missed the payment method here. So, if I were to add that the employee is paid electronically, this would then create errors in the bank details field, as this would need to be populated as well. So for today's video, I'm going to add that the employee is paid by cash or check. And as you can see, the validation will update in real time as you correct the errors. As well as correcting errors, I can also change existing information here or I can add extra information into some of these empty columns if I want to. And once I've looked over all the information, and I'm happy, I just need to press continue. Then just confirm I'm ready to submit. And in just a couple of moments, we have a successfully imported file. So there you have the flat file import.